Aww, animals. Fett removes two huge fly larvae from Kitten's body. Brace yourselves, Tomo fans. What's about to happen to this cat is not pretty at all. The video, shot on January 6th and released this week, shows a veterinarian using a surgical instrument to very carefully and gently pull out a couple of healthy looking Cudaribra, parasites whose eggs find their way onto the bodies of cute little animals by detecting heat. When they hatch, they then get cozy underneath the animal's skin and stay there for a little while. A delightful sight to behold, we know. Imagine being the cat. In case you're wondering, the larva will grow to roughly the size of the first joint of a person's thumb. Ew! After about a month, the Cuteriva larva then makes its way off the host, hops to the ground and pupates, becoming a full-fledged botfly. It's gross, yes, but you'll be happy to know the little kitty, though in obvious discomfort, is going to be just fine. No more creepy crawlies hiding in you, little one. Say no to safe spaces on YouTube. Support Tomo News at patreon.com slash Tomo News. Trespassing bugs can get into all kinds of nooks and crannies, like these. That pulls hideous bug out of kitten's nostril. This gruesome viral video shows a vet pulling out a nasty bug that was stuck in this poor kitten's nose. These little creatures are called Cuteribra or Cuterebra, and they like to make their home in little animals like dogs, cats, rabbits, squirrels, etc. When an animal wanders by, the Cuteribra's eggs respond to the host's body heat and seize the chance to latch on. This is most common in summer and fall. Once a larva hatches, it can enter the body via the mouth or nostrils, or it may enter the body through an open wound. The larva then creates a lesion below the host's skin tissue and opens a tiny breathing hole in the skin. Eventually, the larva will grow into the size of the first joint of a person's thumb. A month later, the Cuteriba larva crawls out of the skin, falls to the ground, and pupates. And the life cycle begins all over again. Some lesions become infected and pus can be seen. Most veterinarians can diagnose it just by visual inspection of the lesion. Here's another video of the treatment. It's okay. Good job. You're doing so good. You're doing so good. Brave kitten. <gasps> According to the Nebraska Humane Society, after the removal, the kittens were progressing well towards a full recovery. Dog goes to vet to treat mouth full of ladybugs. It's a ladybug infestation like you've never seen. A dog in Hoisington, Kansas, who's known for having a passion for biting bugs, finally got bit back. Over the past few weeks, Bailey the dog's nap schedule had been excessive sleeping much more than usual. When it came time to eat, her owner noticed she wasn't interested in her food and was skipping meals. The owner became alarmed when she noticed Bailey had begun foaming at the mouth. Concerned, she took Bailey to the vet, and what they discovered was unfathomable. 30 to 40 orange ladybugs, or more accurately referred to as Asian lady beetles, were hanging off the roof of the dog's mouth. The Asian lady beetles pack a painful bite, which can cause ulcers on a dog's tongue and mouth if left unchecked. The veterinarian says if found, pet owners can solve the problem by picking them off, one by one. But make sure not to squish them, because they produce a powerful stench and yellow secretion if crushed. The Asian lady beetles have made their presence felt across Kansas recently, because one of their main food sources, sugarcane aphids, have sprung up in large numbers. Their population swell has led to many dogs in the region being brought in with the same oral affliction. Luckily, Bailey's health is back up to speed, and while she's still chasing bugs, hopefully she's figured out which ones she probably shouldn't mess with. You'll never go to sleep again without thinking about a centipede in your ear. What has a hundred legs and shouldn't be crawling around in your ear canal? A centipede! 14-year-old Arkansas resident Grant Body pulled this thing out of his ear. That's right, it's a freaking centipede. Grant went to bed the other night with an irritating pain in his ear. All night long, the critter crawled around inside Grant's eardrum, causing abrasions and what must have been, to say the least, a pretty awful night. 
The next morning, Grant felt something wriggling, so this brave young man reached into his ear, grabbed the centipede by the tail, and slowly pulled the four-inch multi-legged insect out of his own ear. They threw the still-living creature in a plastic bag before stopping by Saline Memorial Hospital, where doctors told him there was a bit of damage, but all in all, his ear was going to be okay. Hear, hear! The body family speculates the creature might have crawled into Grant's ear while he was swimming. So now you have a reason to be terrified of centipedes and swimming. Damn, that's a big bug. Would you have just freaked the bleep out? Or can you keep your cool like this Grant dude? <laughs> so yucky. Leave an insightful comment on Tomonews.net and you could win up to $500 every month. Say no to safe spaces on YouTube. Support Tomo News at patreon.com slash Tomo News. Indian guy has gigantic bug removed from ear. Don't you hate it when you get an itch inside your ear that you just can't seem to scratch? An Indian guy not only had an annoying itch, he had something scratching inside his ear as well. So naturally, he decided to go get it checked out. Well, when he got to the clinic, the doctor found a big asshole bug chilling inside the guy's ear. After some discussion, they decided that it would be a good idea to remove the small size alien. Apparently though, the bug was there to meet someone after tindering them. So when the doctor tried to take it out, it resisted. In the end, the doctor was able to safely remove the Kraken. No word on if the bug was able to score, but we'll keep you updated.